Hello and welcome to MB Tech. My name is Matthew Bingham. Today we're going to be going over upgrading Proxmox Server 9.1.1 to 9.1.2. I know it's just been a couple of days since we actually installed the latest version, but there's already been updates out there and I just want to show you how to set up those updates uh, pretty easily. Uh, just a couple steps and this will be a real quick video, but I just wanted to get that out there so that you can get it upgraded to the latest and greatest before we start really installing a bunch of uh, VMs and stuff like that. Not that there should be any problem with upgrades in the future, but uh, let's just get it up to the latest and greatest and uh, go from there. Okay. Now that we've got Proxmox installed, the next steps that we need to do is actually update the server. So the first thing that we need to do is we can go to the PVE home or the name of your Proxmox server. You can go down to updates and repositories. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so we can see this information. And as you can see, there's two of these that are enterprise and they're showing this little air sign. Basically all this is, is for the paid subscription. If you do not pay for a subscription, then you need to set up the no subscription. Um, it's free to use. I mean, so there's no problem using it, but so the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to highlight the ones that we want to disable. So we will disable this enterprise one. And that was for the Ceph uh, resources, which is basically a different type of storage. And the next one is the PVE enterprise sources. So we'll highlight that again, and we'll hit disable. So now we've disabled those two. And as you notice, there's now a red X that says no Oxbox VE repository is enabled. So you will not get any updates. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click the add button. And from that add button, we are going to hit no subscription. And from that no subscription, we'll click add. And now we've got the no subscription is enabled. So you do get updates now from Proxmox VE. So once that's done, we can go back up to the updates here and we're going to just select refresh. I'm just going to go out and see if there's new packages. And it does say task is okay. And there is a bunch of updates. And now there's actually a new PVE manager at 9.1.2. So we are going to upgrade right here. Click the upgrade button. And from that upgrade button, we are going to say yes. And it'll go through and it'll update all of the packages that have been added since the 9.1 version of the ISO was released that we built this from just actually yesterday. And as you can see, it says that your system is up to date. Um, everything's, uh, seems you install a kernel update, please consider rebooting. The next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to install need restart, say yes to that. So once the need restart has been installed, you can actually run it to check to see if a need a restart is required. And if we run it, we can say new, new kernel available. The current running kernel version is, you know, the old one, which is not the expected kernel. So, uh, restarting the system to load the new kernel will be handled automatically. So you should consider rebooting. So we are going to reboot the system now. We will say, okay, and reboot. It appears that our system is back online. So we can do a quick refresh. And from there, we can actually go back to updates and we can just say refresh again. This task is okay. So next we're going to go back to the shell and we're just going to run that command again, need reboot. And we do not. So we are good to go. Everything is updated. We're running the latest, greatest. And as you can see right here, it is 9.1.2. So we're, we're good. All right. So that was the upgrade of the Proxmox server from 9.1.1 to 9.1.2. Uh, hope you enjoyed that video. It's just a real quick, fast one. I just wanted to get that out there as soon as we can, as soon as I could, uh, so you could have that. Uh, again, if you would please like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything you'd like me to cover, please let me know in the comments and uh, have a great rest of the day.